if the season ended today and you were sitting in that uh, very well catered conference room in Grapevine, what does Chris Fanini's playoff field look like at this point? So we have the same four as we've had before: number one Oregon, number two seed Georgia, number three seed Miami, number four seed BYU. Haven't moved off of that. Five seed Penn State against twelve seed Boise State. Is Hello, that matchup. Would be a lot of fun. Aston Genty against that Penn State defense. Give it to uh, me. Number six seed Ohio State against number 11 seed Indiana, which would be a rematch. Things are going to change. But technically, the committee has no rules against doing rematches in the playoff. That's what they say. Are they going to follow through on that? I don't know. We've never had this. Well, it's not before. like they're casting a television show that's trying to get the biggest ratings possible, Chris. They have no motivation yeah. to avoid rematches, right? <laughs> I'm going to assume we're not going to get rematches, even if it may <laughs> seem like that's going to happen. Uh, then we've also got number seven seed Texas, 10 seed Clemson, and then eight seed LSU versus nine seed Tennessee, which is an SEC game, but not a rematch. So, First of all, I, I would like to apologize to Iowa State fans on behalf of Chris. He hates you. Please send all your hate mail to so, Chris. What <laughs> Here's what happened to Iowa State, though. This is the thing with the rankings, though. Tennessee and Indiana jumped them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and LSU might have as well. Because Iowa State needed to come back and barely beat a UCF team that's not very good right now. So, mm-hmm. but and when Tennessee beats Alabama and LSU destroys Arkansas and Indiana does what it does, you know, these things change week to week. So Iowa State's still very much there. Don't worry, Iowa State fans. You'll be okay. Again, that's at Chris Vanini for all your hate mail. <laughs> Austin Mock's playoff field. His, his model is really interesting. He's got number one, Oregon. Number two, Miami. Number three, Georgia. Number four, Iowa State. You're welcome, Cyclones. And then his uh, the, the first-round matchups would be uh, Boise going to Ohio State. Uh, number mm. six seed, Penn State, hosting 11 seed Tennessee in Happy Valley. That would be quite a scene and Texas hosting Indiana. And then the eight, nine game would be Notre Dame hosting Clemson. I feel like we've seen that game like eight times in the last like three years. (laughs) That'd be interesting. Again, BYU fans, you can send your hate mail to uh, Austin (laughs) for not including your seven and O team in in, uh, his model, but it's an interesting field. And I think that for all the hand wringing and all the, the conversation about the playoff and all that stuff, I think the core of all of this because we're trying to find a national champion, and I don't care that much about number 13. I'm sorry, but this event you know, is going to be you, awesome. You know who cares about number 13, and that is Greg Sankey and Tony Petiti. Yes, I'm writing clear, about this. Yeah. <laughs> they are going to wash up a big storm if you've got a three-loss or even a two-loss Big Ten or SEC team that gets left out. While a three loss ACC, a two loss G5 team gets in, that is why uh, they want automatic bids, or at least the Big Ten does, and a larger yes. playoff field to help their teams. And there's a lot of pressure on the committee to set the precedent here on what happens moving forward. It's and if you be have fascinating. A, if like, you have a field, if you have a field without this. SEC Big Ten teams, that's more likely going to speed up a change to the playoff. It's, I'm, this is going to be. I mean, the, I really can't wait for that first uh, that first committee rankings and and the, the the chairman kind of explaining that. 